Hey guys, it's Daisy Styles. Today I'm going to be showing you all of my repaints that I have done. I have only been repainting horses for around one and a half years, but I definitely think I have improved, and I hope you guys think so too. Anyways, let's get on to the video. So this is my first repaint, her name is Bueno. She was originally the 2008 Hanoverian mare. I repainted her August in 2017. Now she has some very bad scratches as you can probably see. Um, I was planning on or I was kind of trying to repaint her again, but that didn't really work because I can, didn't get all the paint off. So I kind of just left with this kind of broken model. <laughs> I honestly don't like her at all. I only used acrylics for this repaint. So yeah, and I didn't have any experience, but you know, mm, this is my second repaint. He is actually, you know, one of my favorite horses. I believe he is the 2013 Libizoner Foe. His name is Caspian. He was repainted in January of 2018. Actually, this is also my first re-sculpt. It's a very light re-sculpt, but I re-sculpted his mane. It was originally braided, and you know, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, it's the first repaint I used a sealant on, and I was still using just acrylics, but I used sealant, and I kind of um, didn't really think that dust would settle on him, but it did, and it left some pretty apparent marks on him. And I also did overspray him, so it's pretty, it's pretty yellow in some spots. But I still really love him, and I think I did a okay job on him. My third repaint looks so broken, and I will put a picture on screen of what she looks like, or what she used to look like. This was the 2017 Halflinger Mare, and she was repainted in March of 2018. And her name is Shadow. Now, I was trying to re-sculpt her mane and a little bit of her tail. Um, it was honestly not very great, so I wanted to repaint her again. I haven't really completed p taking off the paint, so it just looks like this. But yeah, I didn't really like how she turned out. She was one of my first. So the next repaint I did is um, in pieces, unfortunately. But I will put a picture on screen she was repainted in March of 2018. Her name is Roma, or was Roma. Anyways, she is the 2015 um, horse. I genuinely could not find what breed she was. So basically the reason that she's in pieces is because I wanted to reposition her and just give her a brand new look because I didn't really like the way I had repainted her. And it totally failed because I didn't have enough experience. So that's her story. So this repaint, her name is Rosie. She's originally the 2016 Bash Cure. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Curly Mare. And she was repainted in May of 2018. So even though she's only done with acrylics and sealant, I really, really like her. I really like how I achieved this like dark hair and on the front part uh, and yeah I think she is overall a pretty great repaint and I also think her muzzle is absolutely adorable I think I did a pretty okay job on her so the next repaint I don't have once again but I'll put up a picture on screen what he used to look like so he was originally the 2010 Knapp Stripper Stallion and it was repainted in June of 2018 so his name was Rain, and I did a video on him repainting in, but honestly, I just didn't like him. I don't think he was that realistic or anything, and I also think his um, main re-sculpt was pretty bad. So yeah, you can watch this video if you want to, I'll link it in the description. But yeah, I actually turned him into another horse, which is actually my most recent repaint, so stay tuned for that. The next repaint is actually also my first limb re-sculpt that sounds really weird but it is this is dapple dude he is originally the 2014 arabian stallion and he was repainted in july of 2018 i'm really proud of this one and he's the first horse i've used pastels on so you know i wasn't that experienced and i definitely made some mistakes also with the re-sculpting um his limbs are a little bit lumpy um i definitely could have been a little bit more 
you know, careful with him and more details on him. But overall, I think I did a okay job. This horse is my favorite horse of all time. Like, not even just like my repaints. This is my favorite horse. Some of you guys might know how much I love this horse. It is Esmeralda, the 2018 Connemara mare. She was repainted in July of 2018. So I got her and I decided to repaint her. And I kind of just did it on a whim. I didn't really think of it. But I think she turned out amazing. I think I used the pastels a lot better on this one. Is that only the second time I used pastels? Like seriously, she's my baby. Like I only made tack for her for like over two months and I still make tack for her so she is extremely spoiled. So this is the next resculpt slash repaint. He was originally the 2008 Hanoverian Stallion and he was repainted in August of 2018 and I kind of named him Dolly because of his dull color. I heavily relied on the pastels which I haven't done before and I think his color turned out a little bit dull um, but as you can probably tell, I repositioned his head, and I really like everything about him except the color, which is, you know, a big deal of <laughs> So this is the second last. So the next repaint is Margot. She is also the 2018 Connemara Mare. She was repainted in September of 2018. Now Margot's name and color was originally inspired by Roleplay YouTuber Adelaide Winterstep. She does um, Star Stable roleplaying. She's really entertaining. She makes really nice videos. I definitely would recommend going over and having a look. I will put her, her link in the description. I saw her and her horse Margot, and I just fell in love with the name and the color, so I remade her into a slight person. If you're wondering why she's wearing tack, it's because I am currently trying to film a short movie but I really can't be bothered to take the tack off, so yeah. Now this is my latest repaint. He does not have a name, but he was the 2010 Knapp Super Stallion. He was repainted in October of 2018, of course. Now I did resculpt his mane and his tail and his neck. Now I really like his mane and tail because I use silicone uh, sculpting tools. I got them on eBay for so cheap, they were literally like a dollar or two, and they work really really well. They're probably not the highest quality, but it doesn't really matter, they work very nice, and it makes sculpting so much easier and so much smoother. Now he's not my favorite horse, I think he is like, has a very very cold tone to him, but I still think I did a pretty okay job. I'm considering the name Ghosty for him because one, I made him in October, which is, you know, spook season, and two, he's like, it's kind of like a ghosty color. So you guys can leave other name suggestions if you want to. A little thing I want to point out is the little stripes I put here. I thought I'd add the detail because I just personally really love them on horses. So that is all the horses I have repainted. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you did, don't forget to let me know by leaving a like. You can also comment down below anything you would like. And also, subscribe to the channel if you have not already and want to see more of these kind of videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I post a little bit more often. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you next time. Bye!